Hey folks, it's Coach Kathy, the Bariatric Cheerleader, and we have a new month upon us, and that means a new challenge. And I thought long and hard about what to do for the month of April, and I thought about a question I had asked in the Facebook group, The Bariatric Cheerleader, which if you haven't joined yet, hop on over to Facebook and be sure you join. It's a great community with lots of support there. And I had asked the question, what was the one thing you struggle with the most? And person after person after person actually said it was night snacking. So the April challenge for The Bariatric Cheerleader is going to be no night snacking April. So for the entire month of April, I want you to pick what your cutoff time is and then you're done eating for the rest of the day. This doesn't mean you need to do intermittent fasting, but if you do do intermittent fasting, it will help you with that. I see my light just died, but whatever. Um, so yeah, we're going to do no night snacking April. My cutoff time is going to be 7 p.m. Nothing after 7 p.m. So if you do the 80-20 rule, which I do, your 20% can be outside of that night snacking window because we need to live a little. Sometimes you get invited out to birthday parties or maybe it's your birthday or sometimes you work late. And so I do want you to have the grace of that 20% of the time during your week that you can break your no night snacking April rule. But as a general rule, 80% of the time, which is the vast majority of this month coming up, no night snacking. This is going to help increase your sleep. It can help decrease your weight. It can help decrease cravings and it can just perpetuate a more healthy lifestyle. And you might find that you actually don't need those night snacks, which are often the result of emotional eating, boredom eating. Sometimes we're angry. You know, we talked about the HALT method Hungry, angry, lonely, tired. The only time you should actually eat out of halt is if you're genuinely hungry. And again, that does apply too. But if you're eating a good protein-filled supper, you don't need to night snack. So that's what we're going to do. For one month, let's all make the commitment together. No night snacking April. And let's see how we feel at the end of the month. Let me know what you think of this in the comments down below. Let me know if you're on board. And make sure you hit like and subscribe if you haven't yet. Bye!